And now, a bridge for the Yaki. <laughs> Somewhere over this gorge, the bridge will be built. Across the Rio Yaqui del Norte, at the city of Santiago, second largest in the Dominican Republic. The highway system of the Dominican Republic is among the most modern in the Caribbean area. A major cross-country thoroughfare connects Santo Domingo on the south coast to Monte Cristi on the north. At Santiago, the highway passes over the Yaqui del Norte, leading to the fertile plain of the north. A modern bridge will be built to replace the old timber-floored span which needed frequent repair. What type of bridge to build? What size? Exactly where should it be located? The answers depend on many factors. They depend on traffic needs. They depend on topography and foundation conditions. And they also depend on the trained judgment of experts. After each factor is carefully considered and the site selected, a suspension bridge of the open cable parallel strand type is proposed. Length of the main span, about 122 meters. Length of each side span, about 61 meters. There will be six approach beam spans on the south, followed by a long earth fill. The bridge will have a four-lane roadway designed to support a continuous series of heavy truck and trailer combinations. Sidewalks will allow pedestrian traffic. By measurement, the bridge will not be big, but it will be a lasting complement to the art of bridge building. Inspired bridge builders know that every bridge, regardless of type or size, should answer its purpose. They know that a small bridge is as important to its users as any world-famous structure. In the construction office at the bridge site, engineers check all details, and then earth-moving operations begin. From the start, local workmen are employed. Special equipment has been shipped from the United States A hill is leveled. Earth is moved to build up the bridge approach. Excavation begins for the bridge piers. Steel sheet piling will protect the concrete piers from scouring action of the river. Foundations are prepared for the cable anchorages. A dam is built up in the shallow riverbed to support a construction crane. Some of the river gravel will be used as aggregate for concrete. Concrete is mixed right at the construction site close to the cable anchorage location. Heavy steel rods to which the bridge strands will be attached are in place, ready to be anchored permanently. While the piers and anchorages are under construction, the steel structural sections are being fabricated in the United States.
Each section will be critically inspected before shipment. Connections tested, pieces match marked, anti-corrosive paint applied. At the port of Santo Domingo, tower sections arrive. Safe, dependable performance was the first consideration in the design and fabrication of these sections. The structural steel more than meets the requirements of the job, three times the stress allowed for this bridge. With the piers in place, the bridge towers are erected. Columns, struts, diagonals. One by one, the steel sections reach out for each other, forming strong, artistic towers. Experienced bridge builders working with local craftsmen, building with teamwork professional teamwork. What began as a need for a bridge became a vision, a reality of steel. Exactly as planned, each section goes into place. Engineers check the plumb of the towers to assure perfect alignment. Most of the bridge workers are Dominicans. Many live in Santiago. Others come from cities and towns all over the country. All take pride in building their own bridge for the Yaqui. Now the towers are ready for the suspension cables. Each cable will be made up of 14 galvanized bridge strands. Each strand, 300 meters long, consists of layers of high tensile wire. Before delivery to the bridge site, the strands were pre-stressed and critically measured under actual load tension. The red stripes tell engineers that the strands are straight and true as they are strung into place. Because of this pre-stressing, each strand will regain its exact length when the final weight of the bridge is suspended. At the top of each tower, the strand is pulled over the cable saddle. Supported by the cable bent, each strand is pulled into the anchorage pit where it is secured. As the cables are completed, the stiffening truss sections are made ready. These sections were pre-assembled at the fabricating plant before shipment and checked for fit. They are assembled at the site. The truss sections will be hung on suspender ropes, which consist of pre-stressed, galvanized bridge strands cut to predetermined lengths. To assure identical loads on towers and cables, erection of the bridge proceeds equally from each end. 
project continues on schedule. As the bridge takes form, the water seems even more inviting than before. Steel for the floor system goes into place, including the cantilevered sidewalk. When all steel work is in position, the towers, cables, suspender ropes, trusses, and floor system, preparations begin for the reinforced concrete bridge deck. Concrete reinforcing bars are installed. Concrete is poured for the roadway. The concrete is vibrated to make it properly flow into the bridge flooring. It is smooth, brushed, and wetted for proper curing. The bridge is ready. A bridge for the Yaki, a tribute to inspired bridge builders. Outstanding bridges. The bridges built by United States Steel International.